It's a common sales story. You know your product or service provides the right solution for the customer, but they aren't willing to make a decision. For many customers, not making a decision feels safer than making one. For the salesperson, this is a different challenge from a customer who chooses not to purchase or one who chooses to go with a competitive product or service. There are several reasons customers fear making a decision. Here are five. First, hesitation to make a commitment. Even in the most successful sales interactions, questions around how much the product or service is going to cost, the size of the order, or when to begin, can evoke fear for the customer who may be nervous about making a decision or commitment about the future. Second, it's easier to do nothing. Change involves work. Even customers who are furious with a current provider often don't make a change because of the work they perceive will be involved. Think about how many people continue to do business with a bank, telecom company, digital service provider, or contractor they don't like because making the change will require effort and time. Third, customers fear tarnishing their reputation if the purchase doesn't go as well as expected. If they are responsible for the decision, they are also accountable to others if reality falls short of expectations. Fourth, they may have had a negative experience with a similar purchase in the past. Repeating that experience is something they wish to avoid. And fifth, they may have never had an experience with your product or service and they wish to avoid the unknown. How the sales professional handles this challenging situation separates the most skilled salesperson from the average one. Before you rush to offer discounts to reduce hesitancy, consider trying one of these five strategies. One, leverage customer reviews. Over 92% of consumers read online reviews, making them a powerful selling tool. They help to increase customer confidence and eliminate fear of making a purchasing mistake. Client testimonials can be powerful. Even more powerful are third-party reviews that haven't been solicited or vetted by you or your organization. Number two, build relationships with individuals in your customer's network. Word of mouth continues to be one of the most important tools in selling. People are four times more likely to buy from a business when referred by a friend. Sales professionals who tap their customers' networks professionally are rewarded by higher customer confidence when decisions are made. Number three, make it easy for your customers to compare. Provide customers with credible examples and stories of where your products and services compare more favorably than other investments the customer could make in pursuit of a similar goal. This may mean providing comparisons to your competitors' products and services. Number four, eliminate surprises. Provide the customer with examples of customer service, training, and support systems you offer to support their purchase. If they have hesitation about the amount of work and effort that will be required by them or their team post-sale, Assure them about the level of support that's coming their way from you and your team. Number five, empathize. If the customer is concerned that their boss or peers won't approve of the decision, demonstrate empathy and understanding. Your challenge isn't to just sell the prospect. It's to provide the prospect with the knowledge and skills to sell the idea to others in the organization. Find out the interests of those individuals.